We are accustomed to treating history as an immutable whole, complete with a very convenient chronological scale attached. Every event we're interested in can be looked up, which usually satisfies the most frequently encountered kind of amateur historian who wants to know the right date for everything. The tradition of memorizing vast arrays of perfectly useless material hails back to Giordano Bruno and beyond. So there must be something in it that baffles the imagination of mere mortals. Professional historians are well aware that there are lots of gaps and inexplicable twists on the scale, and prefer to remain taciturn about those for the very simple reason that they're professional historians, and paid to make that scale look even. Apparently this cannot be done. The Russian mathematician Anatoly Fomenko was the first to have questioned the validity of global chronology in its entirety. However, there were criticisms of the chronological tradition that became consensual nowadays ever since the days of its creation in the 16th-17th century, and the list of the critics includes such names as Jean Hardouin, Edmund Johnson, Sir Isaac Newton, and, last but not least, the Russian encyclopedist Nikolai Morozov. Fomenko was the first to have developed a new empirico statistical methodology which yielded some sensational results concerning many ancient dynasties and their identification with those of the Middle Ages, with impressive geographical shifts to boot. Astronomy is another powerful resource that provides Fomenko and team with more than enough valid and factual evidence for their theory. It turns out that most ancient eclipses are dated incorrectly. Fomenko's new fundamental work tells us that, apparently, all of the eclipses with detailed descriptions belonging to the period between 1000 BC and 580 get independent astronomical datings that differ significantly from the ones offered by consensual chronology and belong to a much later epoch, namely, the interval between 500 and 1700 AD. This shifts ancient events forwards in time by several centuries and, in some cases, millennia. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time. Roman chronology is basically the foundation of the entire edifice of global chronology. unimaginary foundation. Despite its numerous gaps and inconsistencies, Roman history is the best documented field of ancient history, and thus a reference scale of a paramount importance. But how well do we know the actual date of the city's foundation? The question makes more sense than it might seem for several reasons. Firstly, Rome is supposed to have been founded by the Trojans who had to flee after the fall of Troy. However, there are lots of different opinions as to when that happened exactly, and the datings offered are scattered over the range of 500 years. Some claim Rome to have been founded by Aeneas and Ulysses shortly after Troy had fallen. Others are of the opinion that there was an entire dynasty that ruled for 400 years between the fall of Troy and the foundation of Rome. What do modern historians really say about the correct chronology of the ancient Rome when they do not have to produce textbook-friendly output? The following, neither Diodorus nor Livy possess a correct chronology. We cannot trust the Fasti, which tell us nothing about who was made consul in which year, or the cloth writings that led Licinius Marcus and Gibero to contradictory conclusions. The most trustworthy documentation is the kind that turns out to be much more recent forgeries after in-depth analysis. This book will change your entire perception of history forever. What if ancient Rome, Greece and Egypt were invented during the Renaissance? What if the Old Testament was a rendition of events in the Middle Ages? 
What if Jesus Christ was born in 1053 and crucified in 1086 AD? Sounds unbelievable? Not after you've read History, Fictional Science by Anatoly Fomenko, the leading mathematician of our time.